<clears throat> I think we started the game very well. Uh, we tried to play in a pitch that on the day was not at its best in terms of its conditions. Fortunately, to get an early goal, we could have immediately scored another big chance, which could have settled the game down because we were playing in a very nervy state of mind. Chapello could have easily given us a chance, or maybe to have that insurance goal, but unfortunately, it was not to be. We were playing against a team that we knew is playing for set pieces and they are very good in that space. We were playing with a team that is forever looking for to create a corner kick or a lateral free kick, which, uh, because that is their main strength and keeping our analysis move in as much as we try to have a, a very tall team today, but we, we knew we were playing against a team that would predominantly be very powerful in that space. And I think we did very well under the circumstances. There was one big chance uh, at the death where Chambers only cleared the ball on the line. But generally, I think the game was a bit scrappy because the pitch conditions were not very good. Uh, even those few chances that we got, we did not take them, which I think would have settled the game down. But uh, nonetheless, we wanted to win this match. In Champions League, sometimes uh, football is not that much. It's a lot of a fight. And if you match that fight, you stand a chance of getting something when you've got talent like uh, our boys. Because the goal that you got is something that we have prepared, that we want to force them to their right side and uh, impress them from there because they've got shorter distances on that side. On the left, uh, the left back jumps up very quickly into a very high position, looking for a possibility to put crosses in the box. But on the right side, they always play closer. And we know technically they, they are not as efficient. We knew we could steal from there and we directed our press towards that side. And that's where the goal came. And uh, we could have created more moments from that if we were not rushing sometimes. We, our poor decision making caused us not to not to capitalize on some of the mistakes. But otherwise, we wanted to get the two points, and that's what we had. Uh, not very excited with the game because the pitch did not help, and the coordination and playing with anxiety did not help. Thank you very much, Coach. Uh, members of the media, opportunity to ask questions uh, by raise of hand. Please indicate uh, your interest in asking a question. Mado Sephora, your name was your hand was up first. Please go ahead. One question per media house colleagues for in the interest of time. Only one question, please. Thank you, Tabang. Uh, evening, coach, and congratulations on the three points. Were you convinced with the performance despite the three points? Thank you. No, the performance was not at the level that we would have wanted it to be. Uh, it's, it's a bit nervy in, in our space, in the group stages, the first match of the group. You must know it's, it's always a, a challenge. You might have seen even during AFCON, uh, starting AFCON in the group stages, teams did not perform very well because it's uh, anxiety that is very high. Everybody is looking for that first three points to make sure that they, they settle in a little bit within the group. And uh, when you are playing with a lot of anxiety, chances are that you are not going to be very precise technically, and you end up making some silly mistakes in the process. Yes, our, our performance was not one of the best, but be it as it may, we still created very good chances to have read the game. Maybe had we got in the second goal, maybe we would have settled down and played a little bit better. Thank you very much, Coach David. I have noted you, but let's go with Samuke Lokambusha first. Uh, you had your name up, Yes, hi, Coach. Um, Al Hilal seemed to be very strong, especially in the second stanza. What would you put that down to? To be honest with you, I, I would not say they are strong in the second stanza. I, I just believe uh, we were playing against a very good team. You know, sometimes when you don't know your position, you always tend to take them for granted. But because we do, a, a lot of intensive work when we are going to play against opponents like this. We, we knew uh, number 33 has been a threat even for the national team as their number one player, number one striker. Uh, the two central midfielders, uh, fortunately, they played Grand Pierre, uh, which I think made the midfield not to be as a strong defensively, but dangerous offensively. 
because technically it's good, but in terms of his mileage and mobility in the midfield, it, it, it gave us a little bit of time and space to be able to play them. Uh, they are fullback number 22, very industrious, very important on the left. Uh, we've always known that we are playing against a very good team. Uh, from, for many people, they, they're looking at Al Hilal as any other team, but this is uh, the biggest team in Sudan and a team that is always in the in these stages of the competition, quarterfinals, the times semifinals, and I believe they, they once won it uh, at some point. So we are not playing against pushovers. Uh, it's a team that might still one day help us uh, within the same group, maybe by making sure that it beats other people that might be a problem. So it's a very good team. Thanks, Coach. David, go ahead, uh, followed by Safja. Um, good evening, Coach. Congratulations on the three points. Um, I wanted to ask about Erwin Safreda. He came on very late in the game. Um, how how fit is he? Um, he's only arrived in the country this week, but I think he played in the World Cup qualifiers. Um, when can we see him in the starting lineup? Thank you. Yeah, we, the reason why we even had him in the team was to try and fast track his integration within the group so that he starts to get the feel uh, of the group and participates with, with the group. Uh, Obviously, he's very fit because he's been playing in South America and, uh, and he, he has done very well for his team. He was always in the team uh, and performed a lot of minutes in the process. So in terms of his physical fitness, we had no doubt. We had a little bit of a doubt because of his traveling because uh, he, he's traveling took about two days because there's a problem with flights of late. And it's always a little bit of a challenge in terms of the transit periods. And, that's where we were a little bit worried, which is why we did not want to give him more minutes. But uh, we do believe uh, in the near, in the very near future, he will be able to be amongst the starting eleven and be able to help the team. But uh, we do not want to rush the process. We would have to to give him a chance to settle in within the group. And from what we are seeing, uh, it's not going to be as difficult. Probably the same thing that happened to Castor. We immediately fitted in into the team and was able to help the team immediately. Thank you, Coach. Safja, have you asked your question? Uh, yes, Tavang, it's the same one David asked. Oh, okay, no problem. Uh, Samgelo, you have your, you'll have the last question. I see you have your hand up. Robin, do you please go ahead? I think Sam Yellow's hand, uh, Sam Yellow hadn't put down a hand, his hand. Robin, yeah. please go ahead. Okay. Coach, just looking at the group, do you think um, it will be a fight uh, between you and Al Ahli with um, number one and number two for progression in the quarterfinal? To be honest with you, the four teams that are in this group are all capable of going through. Uh, I, I don't want to say who is going to go through, but I wish that Sundowns is amongst them too. But the truth of the matter, it's not going to be easy for any team within this group. Mark my words, as the group progresses, you will see, uh, it's still going to be very tight in this group. It's probably one of the strongest groups uh, in the Champions League this year. 